Nursing homes are the final address for many people who live on South Beach. What do you say to nursing home patients who know they will never leave? The walls here do not make it a prison. They are prisoners inside themselves. Their bodies no longer work or do their will. The thousand dreams shackled here, memories of things that used to be and will never be again. But even nursing homes have bright days. Lily Stone leads a group of volunteers who spend time each week with patients at the Four Freedoms Nursing Home. They lead singing, read poetry, encourage patients to dance. After the session, they eat cake and drink orange juice. It's a glorious party for the patients who respond gleefully like little children. <laughs> Gell is a patient here. He ran a restaurant in White Plains, New York. One of his children lives in Pittsburgh, another in New Jersey. Do you hear from them? Yes. Do you miss them? Huh? Of course I miss them. I miss my grandchildren. I miss them. As much as I know of them anyway, because I've been on the go most of the time, I haven't been able really to see him. All their children. But someday, he'll turn around, they'll come see me. I'll just go write a letter to him. They're my son. And I don't want him to feel obligated any way to, towards me. Everything's been taken care of over here. I eat three, three good meals a day, and everything is wonderful there. And any, any of the girls, the nurses, all know me. And if any should be, anything should bother me, they're there to take care of me. What else did you say to your son in the letter? I really can't tell you. I, it's a little bit personal. He gets letters from people he knew in White Plains. Make me feel homesick. For White Plains? For White Plains, yes. Do you miss the cold weather? No. Just the people. Just the people. In a nursing home, uh, people's sickness makes you more aware of death. That's right. How do you deal with that? You don't. You wish you could die. You wish you could die? And everybody, sure. There isn't much left in my life. What, what else should I tell you? Death, death is everything. Whatever it'll be. I don't dread it. I favor it. Many people are afraid of it. I don't know why. Have you always felt that way? No. When did you change? When I got sick. That's about three years ago. And that was the only time it changed. I noticed my life was over because I couldn't do all the things I, I used to do. I was very agile. I played tennis. I played golf. And all I like, I can't do anymore. Most people on South Beach avoid talking about death. If you ask, they change the subject. It is too close for comfort. It is even a factor in their shopping. Frank Kromsky runs a small store on Washington Avenue. Everything that you sell it has to be in a lower line item. In other words, a cheaper item. Uh, most people like better things, you know. Today, uh, most of their children are the ones that buy the things for them. Uh, if, a, if a child buys a watch, we'll say, for a, for a parent, uh, the parent always is under the uh, illusion that the watch is a 10 or a $12 watch. And so anything above that is uh, uh, not, not right. It's because he buys a 10 or $12 watch? Right. The reason he buys a 10 or 12 watch and I've had this from many many people is they feel that if they bought a better one they might not live long enough to enjoy the full use of it. They see their loved ones uh, going. This is very fearful to them. It is another loss uh, and next may be them. And this becomes very real. The death is upon them. Funerals are 
attended by as few people as possible in a majority of the cases. There is something that holds back the person from attending a funeral, if only for the fear, maybe they're calling my number, they're reaching this particular age level. Most of the funerals here are attended by as few people as possible, which is quite depressing. How few? Four or five? Sometimes only two or three. South Beach itself is dying. One by one, the old apartment buildings and hotels are being demolished. In their place, new, fancy, expensive apartments go up. The people who lived in the old buildings on Social Security are simply told they must move. There are only 50 low-rent housing units in Miami Beach, all clustered at the very tip of South Beach. The politicians go through the charade of planning more low-rent housing, but courts and other obstacles continue to stall construction. When the county offered to build 100 units of low-rent housing for the city, the Miami Beach Housing Authority turned down the offer. They said they wanted to build it themselves. South Beach is an embarrassment to the city, but this is rarely admitted in public. Retired people have a lot of time on their hands. They register and they vote with a fervor. South Beach is the most solid block vote in Dade County. If they turn against you, your political Miami Beach is over. They also attend council meetings religiously. They applaud, they boo and hiss. A policeman is always on hand in case of fistfights.